What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here in the middle of some cornfields today. These railroad tracks that are right here, I wanted to get some pictures at sunset. I also wanted to take some pictures of the Michigan sunset because as you can see, the sky is blue today. It's clear and you guys can't quite see that sunset. One sec. And you guys can kind of see it back there. Blue, orange, pinkish colors. So I'm out here shooting those today because I'm trying to collect some pictures for a new thing that I just put out. If you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, you will see that I started selling prints on a website called darkroom.tech. This site is awesome because I can upload my photos, anybody, including you guys, and you should go do it, and sell my photos for people to hang my artwork on their walls at home, at their office, in the studio, or just to buy it just to support. You don't necessarily have to hang them up, but if you go on that website, the link is down below. All of the prints are available there on canvases, on regular paper. You can pay for them to be framed, all that stuff, and they're on there for good. I'm going to be uploading more as I go, so just stay tuned and keep checking those out. Find one that catches your eye and send me pictures and tag me on your social media and show that you're hanging them in your home or that you bought one. I appreciate the support and I want to show the love back. So right now, the first 10 people that order can get 10% off by using the code CRJPRINT. I'm going to put that link down below or the code with the link down below for Dark Room. Please go there, buy a print. Um, you don't have to be astronomical and pay, you know, 60, 70 bucks for one of the bigger prints that they offer. All you got to do is buy a small one. I do make a little money off of it, but the site does charge me in order to sell them on their website. They make them, they print them, they ship them to you. But I did the artwork and I put them on there and I would love to share my artwork with you guys. I've been looking for a place to do that for a while. And finally, I found one. Uh, shout out to my buddy, Aaron Berkshire, who mentioned it to me because that's where he sells his prints. And I got Got into it and my prints are now for sale so make sure you check those out and the website should look like this but on there you're gonna find some of my favorite shots that I've taken including this one this one and this one is definitely my favorite this one that first one was taken at a dam in Flint, Michigan. I edited it to make it look like it's greener on the other side because life is always greener. Once you push forward through the gray, through the dark, it always going to be colorful and green on the other side once you pursue what you want and get through the dark times. Because I talk about that all the time on my channel is getting through the dark times and finding the positive on the other end. The second picture that was up there is of the Rocky Mountains. That is also one of my favorite pictures because I took that when I was on the tour. It was the first time I ever seen them and I promised myself I would take a picture of the snowy capped Rocky Mountains. And I did that and believe it or not, that picture was taken from the tour bus. I took that shooting out the window. I just had to. We didn't have time to stop, but I got it, and I love that picture so much. And that last picture came out so good. It was at Niagara Falls. Again, it was on tour. It was my first time there, but that is by far my favorite shot I've ever taken. I'm actually be paying the website myself to get a bigger print and hang it on my wall because I'm so proud of that picture and it's definitely one of my favorite ones. All right, what else is new? Uh, the EC show with Emily, that's going to be coming back here soon. Um, we took it down just because she wasn't doing so well in school. And we wanted her to focus on her grades and her tests and making sure that she's focused on school because that is more important than YouTubing and doing fun things like that. So um, we took just the video away for a little bit so she can focus on her studies, but that is going to be back very soon. I talked to her today and I told her we're going to be doing another video here soon, so stay on the lookout for that. But one thing I didn't quite announce everywhere, I posted it once and kind of left it as it is. If you guys remember this video right here, it's the self-shot music video of my song, Time Will Tell. That song is now on Spotify, on Google Play, Apple Music, anywhere that you can find music, that single is out. I wrote that song four years ago. Four years ago, never posted it anywhere, never sold it anywhere, but I found a website that uh, they would make most of the royalties off of it, that I could just post it and have my music out there because I just wanted my music out there. I don't need to make money off it. I just want it on Spotify just so other people that have enjoyed my music and my sound can have that song. Hopefully, maybe, I'm gonna be doing more vocal covers and music stuff in the future. Who knows? I'm really busy building this stuff and building this empire, so that's not really in the quota for or the arsenal for me to want to keep doing right now. It's not really an interest for me. Um, another update. We found out the gender of the baby that we're going to be having. We're going to be having a little boy. He's due August 15th. We're all so excited. Um, I'm very excited. I didn't have a... I didn't really care if we had a boy or a girl, but at the end of the day, I really wanted a boy because it is my first child and I wanted to be able to carry on my family name because there's no one on my side that's a boy that carries on the Jacob's line or the Jacob's blood. So I was really overly excited to have a boy, but I would have been happy with either one as long as the baby is healthy and happy. That is all I cared about at the end of the day. That's all anybody should care about at the end of the day, but I'm more than excited that we're gonna be having a boy. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna have three kids in the house and it's gonna be a lot of kids. And so the last thing, Mindset Season 2 is gonna be coming really soon. I was waiting for it to get a little warmer to go out and start filming and start, I've been kind of compiling all my ideas and things I wanna talk about. So that being said, that is all the news updates for you. I wanted to get this sunset here because I haven't really got a chance to get a good sunset and I was learning some tips on YouTube about how to take HDR photos. 
to take a picture of the sunset, overexposed, perfectly exposed, and underexposed, and then doing an HD photo merge to see how that comes out. So you're gonna be seeing those on my Instagram. Make sure you go check that out. All my social media links are down below and it means a lot to me. If you guys go down there and follow those and check out my work, I'll leave some love and share stuff around. So I'm gonna end this vlog. I wanted to cut it short. I wanted to talk to you guys about those couple different things that are new, give you an update on the baby, to give you the news that I'm selling prints now on darkroom.tech and that also my single time will tell is up on Spotify, anywhere that you stream music. Go check it out, show some love, give me some streams. Let me know what you guys think of it. So I guess with that, guys, just remember no matter what the world has to say, tomorrow's a brand new day. The choice is yours to go out and be more. Peace.